My name is Nick Brown and I'm a lecturer in Humanitarian Engineering at RMIT University. Primarily my, my role is to train the next generation of engineers. On top of that, I also conduct uh, research into uh, how we can do that training in the most effective way. My journey uh, with EWB started almost 20 years ago. Uh, I first became aware of Engineers Without Borders UK. But when I moved to, to Australia, uh, I became a lot more engaged um, and actually just reached out to uh, the Victoria Region chapter to see how I could get more involved. I really just jumped in with both feet and from that moment I've, uh, I, I never looked back. And so I actually worked at Engineers Without Borders for about four and a half years um, before moving across to RMIT University. Winning the A Squared E Squared Award was just absolutely fantastic. It's a bit of a relief to know that a lot of the efforts that I put into, especially the teaching activities, but engineering education more broadly, um, are, are valued. The award was just this, just a very nice nod from my peers almost, just saying like, yep, that's good, you know, you're doing some good stuff. Something that's really important to my teaching practice is that students are always working on real world problems. So whether that's in uh, taking students out to, to Cambodia or Fiji or Timor, or actually just getting students out into the community in Melbourne and saying, right, go away and actually uh, apply this technique that we've just talk, told you about. Uh, I think that's uh, you know, it's absolutely so vital um, as, a, as a way to learn. Why do something completely hypothetical that you're never actually gonna do in industry? I hope that engineers who pass through our uh, engineering courses at RMIT University uh, get a real sense for how they can apply their skills and to tackle some of those, those slightly bigger challenges, but also be thinking about how they can apply human-centered design and humanitarian engineering thinking in their day-to-day -day work. Not all engineers will be working on humanitarian projects 24-7, but there's always elements of humanitarian engineering that can be applied in any engineering discipline. And so I think that that's the thing that I'm really hoping, that all engineers who pass through RMIT enter the workforce with that little bit of humanitarian thinking that will really support and enhance the work that they're doing. My personal vision of a better world really steals from the Engineers Without Borders mission. And, and that is that everyone in, in the world should have access to the knowledge and and resources that they need to live a life of opportunity free from poverty. It's, it's clear that engineers are going to play a really critical role in solving some of the really complex challenges that we're facing in terms of uh, climate change, biodiversity challenges. That, that's really what, what drives me and, and, and ensures that there are more engineers going into society who share that, that vision and hopefully have equipped them with the tools and techniques so that they can do that effectively.